Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Medling World. It's sea day, day two on the beautiful oasis of the sea. Breakfast time. Come on in. Check it out. So guys, yes, we're back here on the boardwalk deck six because first of all, I just want to mention there are so many options for breakfast on an Oasis class ship, including the Oasis of the Sea. Look, games. It's just like a boardwalk. So this morning we decided to go to Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets is included in your cruise fare for breakfast. No extra charge. We decided to come to Johnny Rockets this morning. You also have the option of the uh, Windjammer Buffet. You have Park Cafe, which is in the uh, Central Park area. You have the Bistro, Solarium Bistro. Uh, Jake is saying we got a broken horse. One down, one down. Good morning, Jake. As I was saying, the Sol Solarium Bistro. Now, the Solarium is reserved for 16 and older guests, but for dining. They have uh, breakfast, and I know they have dinner in the Solarium Bistro. You can bring children to eat. It's all fine. And they also have breakfast at the dining room this morning. So plenty of options on this cruise ship for your breakfast. But let's go check out Johnny Rockets, guys, and enjoy. We got Roberta checking the menu. We got Jake. Here is the menu, guys, just to show it to you quickly. Yes, Johnny Rockets breakfast. I'm loving this. This is going to be a great day, guys. We have so much to show you today. I'm going to go over a little bit of the app. We're going to bring you along on our adventure, show you everything we're going to do today. It's going to be so much fun. Sometimes day two gets broken up into two vlogs. We'll see how it goes because on Meddling World, we don't want we don't want you to miss any of our adventure. And I'm loving the sticks too playing right now. Awesome, man. Breakfast is served, guys. You can see everything we got here. Roberta got this cool sandwich. It's like a BLT with cheddar cheese on it. Awesome. Jake over here with his buttermilk pancakes and bacon. And you can see some people filling in. We got here right at 8, so... Still plenty of seats, though. So we're gonna go ahead and enjoy our breakfast. Let you know how it is. All done breakfast. Just kind of wanted to back up and show you guys in the morning here. Still plenty of seats. Uh, I think we have a second person there. We do like to get up early on our cruises most of the time. Um, so now it's time to get our day going. So we got to take a look and see what we're gonna do next. There's so many things to do on Royal Caribbean on a sea day. Uh, I, like I said, I definitely will show you the app. We'll go through the app, which I'll just give you an example of all the different things. And what's really nice is you can make a schedule. You can kind of highlight things you want to do and it'll put it into a planner for you. So, let's figure out what we're going to do next. Another thing I wanted to show you, when you go into these neighborhood zones, so as you're going on to the boardwalk and Central Park, you'll find umbrellas that you can use um, when it's raining. So the complimentary use, and then you just put them back when you come out. Central Park has them, and so does the boardwalk, so good to know. As I wanted to show you this interactive screen they have. You'll find these usually where the elevators are. It's really neat. So say you come here and you want to say, okay, what's going on today? I don't want to go on my app. Boom. Entertainment. And then it's got everything. So we can say, oh, is there anything in the Royal Theater? And then it'll give you directions. We're at the boardwalk now. It's really cool. Back to main menu. Bars and lounges, spawn fitness. We're thinking of heading to the Vitality. Um, it's like the, it's like a cafe, Vitality Cafe, but it's over here in the fitness center. So you can map it out, say you wanted to go, and I'll show you how to get there. It's really neat. This thing is awesome. So anywhere you want to go on a ship, Right near the elevators, you can find your way around. So yes, we are heading over to the Vitality, um, it's like a cafe, Vitality Cafe, I think is what they call it. But I wanted to show you guys how the difference. This is a little after 8.30 in the morning, but you can see the Promenade Cafe. It's got a long line because you can get Starbucks coffee even though they have a Starbucks. So kind of strange that they do that, but there, you know, 
People love their Starbucks, Roberta. And it has some food in there too, like sandwiches. At Starbucks, yeah. No, no, right there. Oh, Promenade Cafe, yeah. So yeah, you can see how slow it is, but we're gonna head up. We're gonna go, we're back on five. We're gonna go up to six and let's check out some smoothies this morning. Yeah. Oh yes, here is the Vitality at Sea Spawn Fitness Center. Morning. Good morning. It's really beautiful in here. So you have your fitness center, your spa. You know, you can get your haircuts, pedicures, all that. But we're here for the cafe. Let's show you what we get. I want to kind of show you that. You can also use your drink package here. So they have different Gatorades. They have bottled juice, Red Bulls. Uh, and they will make you customized uh, smoothies or juices. They have hot beverages, espresso. And these guys are awesome. Let's see what we get. Jake got a strawberry raspberry smoothie. I'm waiting for him to tell me how he likes it. It's pretty good. Good out of 10. Refreshing. Good strawberry. Good strawberry and raspberry flavor, obviously. <laughs> All right. What's better than cruising, guys? I mean, I told you. You get that refreshment package, man. These are $8.25 each. So, I mean, we already got the, you know, we're already starting off. You know, it's not gonna be hard for us to reach $30 in a day. And guys, here comes mine. We got banana, uh, banana, blueberry, and pro protein. Yeah. And they mix them with uh, low fat milk, so. But again, you can customize, you can get whatever you want. Like I said, they have juices, they have all kinds of things. So let me try mine for you guys. Mm. I can really taste those blueberries. Oh, they're so nice. This is a great way to start the day after breakfast. Get some of that protein in. So guys, this, this is great. And this is the Vitality Cafe, again, included if you have the refreshment package. Guys, I figured it's a great opportunity. I've been talking about all the things on Royal. I've been talking about the app. Now it's time. Hi. Oh, my stepmother just... Hi, Trish. She just gave us a nice comment. So, look. You can see all the different things. Guess the... Guess the prints of the artwork. Oh, price. Sorry, I don't have my glasses. Prince. Well, Prince was just here. He's in play in a month, by the way. If you happen to see him. In room service. So, you guys can go through... Let's just say, Roberta, we wanted to go to this trivia, right? You could click on that. You can add it to your calendar. And then you go back. Roberta's going to help us here. She knows how. And then you can see in your calendar, okay, yes, I have the morning trivia at 10. And you can do that all day. You go right back here. This is so awesome. And just to show you guys all the things going on. Can just go and go and go and go and then boom it highlights so you can just go through that and also see the things you like so so many things to do that gives you a little uh, idea of how the app works one thing we do love if you have watched our previous cruise vlogs and if you haven't guys this is our I think our fifth cruise now on our channel we have a whole playlist we've got this will be our third Royal Caribbean cruise we have an MSC cruise we have a Disney cruise check them out we bring you on the adventure, but we love to play trivia on cruises. Uh, the Schooner Bar, trivia starts at 10. It's about 10 at 10. This is basically the last seat here, guys, but oh, we love it. Nice view of the promenade deck. And it does fill up quite quickly for um, trivia. So if you get it, I'd, I'd say get here 15 minutes early to get a nice seat. There's still some here at this bar area, so. Oh, and this guy, oh, that's a cruise director from when we sailed Independence of the Sea. Ricky, he was awesome. He was like the best cruise director. Give me a comment there if you guys have been on Independence or... I wonder if he's on this ship now, because he is on the TV here as a cruise director. We haven't seen a cruise director yet of this ship. Hmm, interesting. Roberta, we did good at trivia, man. Yeah, we did. This well, time. for us, it's good. Even Jake got Jake was helping, man. Jake yeah. got a couple of them. We yeah. did pretty good. We got well, 11 out of 20 for yeah. us. That's good. Yeah. There was some good ones. From Ray, yeah, J yeah. Chess related. Jake yeah. got uh, how many squares on a chessboard? Jake got that one. Yeah, yeah. Check and what was... 
Humphrey Bogart's favorite board game, and it was chess. No, so, uh, what board game did he excel in? Oh, did he uh, excel, excel in and chess? And this little guy here, Jake, he knew it. He got us those answers. Yeah. So we just quick stop in the room, dropped off some waters and drinks, but guys, we really enjoying the 14th deck so far uh, where our room is in we have the kids clubs right here I figured I'd show them to you while we're here so you got your junior kids club over here three to five they have the babies six to 36 months look at this they have like ages six to twelve so these are the kids clubs Jake has you know he's he's never really been into them he just really loves hanging out with us and we're fine with it but just to kind of show you what they look like inside a lot of nice play area and they have a workshop over here so all kinds of cool stuff going on so just figured i'd show you quickly and you can see they do like projects and stuff in here so pretty neat and this is the hangout, six to 12 year olds. Yeah. So there you guys go. Just wanted to quickly show you in case you do have some kids and they're interested in the kids club. I don't know, like I said, Jake, he walked in and turned around and walked out. So yeah, he wants to hang out with us. And believe me, for Roberta and I, we'll take it because we love being with Jake. As long as he is, you know, wants to hang out with us, we're all for it. So really cool. This looks pretty neat though. Let's at least kind of walk in here. It's like a little theater in here. What? Really cool, like hanging out. Wow. But again, I will do a full ship tour, guys. So I'll be able to show you uh, each deck, detailed, with everything going on. Uh, I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna start doing that tomorrow morning. Cause I still gotta get a little bit more familiar with everything on this ship. But yes, after all the days come out, We'll have a full ship tour of Oasis of the Sea. And right here, guys, you can see Central Park. Oh, the adventure is so fun. Jake said, let's go find the arcade. So we're gonna go find the arcade. It's actually here on deck 15. I think it's down that way. But I did wanna kinda just show you because it is a sea day. So it's like uh, around 11 almost. But there's still a lot of chairs. Like I said, sea day, this, I would imagine this will be totally full here at some point, but still actually quite a few. Roberta, I'm starting to think people are sleeping in today. Yeah. All these chairs still available at this time on a sea day? It's pretty rarity, but like I said, we're kind of on our way. And as we go, like I said, on Medley World, we show you what we're doing each day during our cruise. So you can see this pool is now open. What I do like here is they do have umbrellas uh, out there by the pool, so that's really nice. But this is all covered here, which is awesome. I did want to talk about a little bit of movement with the ship today. Not a ton, this is a huge ship, but we can feel a little bit. Not enough that we're ill or sick or anything like that, but we did bring uh, Dramamine. Although, Roberta, had, Roberta, you feeling a little bit? Yeah, well, I took meds. Jake says salute to everybody uh, watching Medley World. It's a little talk and a walk, guys, but I think it's important to give you a lot of information. I know that's why you guys love to subscribe to Medley World. We vlog cruise ships like no other. The adventure, the fun, and the information. Thank you, Jake. Salute. I think we found where the arcade is. If you didn't see day one, we went in here. This is uh, Oloco Fresh. That's where the tacos are. Oh, yes. Here. We go. Jake's pointing out some. Oh, we've been doing these things. They're called Small oh, cool. Wonder. And they're all over. Let's see if you guys, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it's the side. Yeah, right there. There you go. Zoom that in. You'll see what it is, unless you're looking at yourself. No. So there are a lot of these all over the ship. They're kind of fun. As you can see, we always stop and see what we're going to find. Let me see what's in this one. Hold on a minute, I gotta go look. Right here. Be back in two seconds, vlog time. And then it gives you a description of what you're looking at, in case you don't know, because I, I wasn't sure. So, press fat rocks. Anyway, time to head into Challenger's video arcade. 
as we walk in together, guys. You can see everything inside. Now, you could get out of hand with your C card in here. Uh, because they, you can use your card and they'll charge the account. So make sure that you are prepared if you do give that to your uh, child to come in here. But all kinds of cool games. And looks like they do have... Oh, this bowling here yeah, looks pretty fun. And they got the speed ball, so they do have some where you can get the tickets. So I'd imagine they must have redemption for prizes, maybe? Oh, maybe they just for fun. Oh, prize hub. Prize hub right there. Let's go have a look at that. So guys, here's the prize hub. All self-service, you would scan your card there. And there you get to pick your prizes. Shows you how many tokens you need. There it is. Price hub. It's just to show you here's how much everything costs. So basically, one credit is a dollar. And some of the how to play the games, if you want to pause and read it. Just out of curiosity, let's see how much, like, if we wanted to do bowling, let's go and look how many credits. I think it said two, right? Yeah, two credits, so two bucks. And let's just see a game, just so you guys can have an idea how much this stuff costs. Here's a motorcycle game. 1.5 credits. Okay, also, each credit is a dollar. Thank you, Jake. Jake must have been reading before I got over there. He might have something in mind. Anyway, there you have it. I don't know where we're going next. I'm trying to show you guys everything we can. I'm not sure if you guys can see out there, but if you can see those like mountainous island looking area there, it's Cuba. So we are passing Cuba on the port side here. And we'll be in Cozumel tomorrow. Oh, what beautiful, man. Wow, I love it. I'm telling you, hey guys. Medley World, yes, rocking the Huskies National Champions Division 1 men's basketball, amongst other, many other sports. Guys, today is so gorgeous out. It's not like wicked, wicked sunny, but it's such a nice breeze. It's not hot. Oh, it feels so good. And we want to check out what? Windjammer, Jake, for lunch? 11.30. 11.30 for lunch. So we got about a half an hour or so. And then let's go to lunch. Ah, yes, we're heading to the wind jammer now, guys. We got, we changed up a little bit, so after lunch, probably hang outside a little, see how that pool deck's going. We are here in the wind jammer. All of this here, guys, complimentary, all included in your cruise fare, and plenty of choices in the wind jammer. They have these nice little stations that go around. So this one is the international flavors. You can see some of the food here. Barbecue pork chops. Oh, and then they just have some nice salads, a bunch of Caesar salads here. I'm gonna go around and try to show you as much as I can. And there is some more food over here. Not too busy yet in here actually, which is nice. Hush puppies, broccoli, beef olive casserole mashed potatoes and oh we got some fish here can seared fish filet with lemon paper sauce what do you guys think oh look at these salads these look pretty good tomato mozzarella salad plenty of those also if you're interested in the freestyle machine while you're here at the windjammer you can utilize, remember the cup I showed you? This is where you can use the cup. Jake's behind me here. Yeah, I just said it wasn't too busy in here, but it is starting to get a little busy. But they do have, over here guys, hot dogs and burgers, so they have all the different toppings. Cheeseburgers, awesome. All your condiments here. And on this side, another station, looks like some Maybe 
lemon roasted chicken. Wow. So many awesome choices of food. Mac and cheese, squash. Oh, ratatouille. Oh, ratatouille's here too, guys. Meatloaf. Over here we have some breads, bunch of cold cuts. You want to make sandwiches? Awesome there. And it looks like I'm seeing pasta, different pastas. That there, different pastas. I'm just gonna keep going right around, guys. More salads. So you can make different salads over here. I can actually feel the shit moving around a little bit, so. Uh, here's the Asian. I'm not sure, roti. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to hide uh, pronounce this stuff here, but I'll show it to you so you can see what it is. And as I was saying, right behind me, guys, make your own salad right there. So much to choose from. Here we have, guys, some shrimp pad thai right there. Sorry, I know I'm moving the camera around a lot, but I don't want to get in somebody's grill with my camera, you know, when they're getting food. I try to be as respectful as I can, and people are usually always very nice to me because I try to, you know, mind my business and let them do what they're doing. So there you go, guys. more beverages as I showed you and they usually have at least some desserts let me see if I can find that a bunch of desserts here and they usually have an area with sugar-free desserts I'm not sure I don't see it there's usually a separate area but you can see all the different desserts here so yeah they will usually have something or there's no sugar added in it's gluten free this one here and if you do have an allergy to anything you can ask for the chef and that's what Roberta's is doing right now and the chef will bring you around and go through the different um, areas of the buffet and show you okay yes you can eat this no you can't eat that so pretty cool here comes Jake let's see what he's got He's a, he's a carb. He's loaded with carbs. <laughs> Look at this. What? I love it. Jake's living his best life again. Hey, Jake, what do you say we go find a table? Yeah, Let's do this. I got a little bit of everything. This is like a stew. Olive beef stew with some carrots. I got some mashed potatoes. I got some butternut squash. I got some lemon chicken. I put a little gravy on it. There's a piece of fish. I got some broccoli. Got some cheese and a piece of ham. Jake, the carb king. I'd say he likes some bread. Didn't last time I showed his plate, he had like three pieces of bread. And poor Roberta over here, she's she's feeling a little uh, seasick. But she, oh, she's got some of the same things I got there. Let's dig in, but most importantly, guys, look at where we're sitting. What's so bad about that? Eat lunch, we'll let you know how it is. Maybe we'll try this. Uh, everything I had was really good, especially that chicken that I showed you. It was very uh, moist, it was cooked but really good and I could taste the um, all the flavoring they put on it. Uh, everything I had, the squash, the fish, the, the stew, really good. Everybody actually enjoyed what we had. Now it's time for dessert. Let's go see what we get. Before I get dessert, I do want to point out too, they even have beverage servers that come around here. So if you have the drink package, <laughs> you can order right from your seat. That is one thing. I can't wait till I do my what we like, what we don't like about this cruise ship and then do our comparisons because I'll give you a little uh, sneak, sneak peek that the service for the beverage on Royal is, is amazing. Also, if you don't want to sit and wait, they have this station here. They have adult beverage. They got beers. They got wine. And they even have the Pellegrinos in water here too. So you don't have to go far on Royal Caribbean to find yourself a nice cold beverage. All right, dessert time. So we have a caramel brulee. We're going to go out to the pool. This is a chocolate, like a mousse, sugar-free. This is a chocolate coffee puff. And Jake, he found his chocolate bar cake. That's what he loves on Royal. Awesome. We're gonna go out and have these at the pool. Guys, figure it out. Oh, by the way, 
we did have our desserts again very good no complaints and kind of want to show you the app you remember yesterday if you watched vlog embarkation vlog we ate here but we never even had a chance on our embarkation day to come around to the back area so we wanted to show you a little uh, walk through over here quick so they do have zip lining but it does not look like it's an operation so i don't know could be closed hours and then again down here guys that's the boardwalk and back here you'll also find the flow riders and at some point in this vacation jake are you gonna try it yes really looking forward to him doing that um probably not today but you'll have to tune in on one of the next vlogs but it's a good opportunity to show you the flow rider right here guys they put that divider in the middle that way you can get two cues going really fun you can see that you can do tricks and these guys are really good at helping and teaching so it makes a big difference when you have a really good uh, oh, this guy's gone he's got the chair another thing i want to tell you you do have to sign a waiver before you do this i believe this is the area where you can do your waiver right back here ask one of the crew members you'll also find the ultimate abyss back here which will bring you right down to the boardwalk right here and this is the stand-up flow rider for a little bit more experience you can try surfing on this one so here are your zip line uh, kind of like the uh, requirements again you got to do the waiver and you'll find all hours of operation guys anytime you come up to one of these attractions so we're at sea today so they do have a couple different sections uh, right there and then tomorrow Cozumel 2.30 to 6 one other thing I wanted to show you back here this is all in the aft it's deck 15 is down here up here deck 16 let's walk down to 15 because they also have mini golf and here is the mini golf here on the oasis of the seas and they do have some tournaments throughout like I showed you earlier today with the um, the schedule where you can find all the daily activities compass cruise compass they call it here on royal and they do have like adult competition kids so you can find different organized events here at the mini golf so like i said while we're just hanging out today uh, i try not to repeat a ton of things you saw a lot of the pool deck yesterday i don't want to just keep you know showing you the same pool the same water slides uh, we try to show different things throughout the day. At the same time, though, definitely bring you on an adventure and let you know what we're doing. Hey, Jay. Yes. Also included in your cruise fare, guys. Let me back up a minute. If you're looking out this way, this is usually where the DJ and the band performs. Look for the red umbrellas. There's one on uh, both sides of the ship. That's where you can get the ice cream. I mean, what's a cruise without ice cream, especially on Royal? Let's try. Good. It's just to give you an idea of the swells we're in, look at a pool. It turned into a wave pool. Look at this. So it goes down, and then this side. And they're gonna be doing a belly flop supposed to be now guys everything's subject to change i don't know if they'll do it with these conditions let's wait and find out oh guys if this oh this guy's the best this cruise director's name's ricky we had him on independence he is awesome man i'm so happy that he is our cruise director oh yeah this guy is awesome man so we're going to show you a few clips. We're going to have some fun with the belly slap competition.
what you think of that very exciting, awesome belly flop competition. And I'm telling you, as good as the contestants are, Rick, the cruise director is absolutely awesome. We are so blessed to have him now on two Royal Caribbean cruises on different ships. He's amazing and he really makes it happen. He gets that crowd going and he does a three, four, four, five, five, four, four. So fun, man. This guy's great. So I think about now we're gonna head. We After that, after the uh, belly flop, we're just hanging out, relaxing. Time to start getting ready for some evening fun. Ah, back at it again, guys, all cleaned up. Had about, what, half an hour nap? We all kind of took a nap while the, everybody else, well, one was in the shower, the other took a nap. Except this guy here, Jake. Um, Jake, you wanna try it? So, tonight is, okay, listen, I talked about last night, this is some good information for you guys. I talked last night about dress code in the dining room. Listen. Royal Caribbean is not strict at all on the dress code. They advise their dress code. Hey, this is what we prefer you to wear. When you go to dinner, you'll find people with t-shirts, shorts, sandals, hats. So just kind of, you know, just to be straight with you, you can go to dinner and be comfortable in the clothes you're wearing. It's up to you. But tonight is formal night. Now listen, we're not all dressed up like we're going to the prom. No. We all just kind of have a nice shirt on. Well, and some people are celebrating. But, yeah. but a lot of people you'll see as we vlog tonight, you're going to see people yeah. to the, dressed to the T's, to the yeah. Roberta, you know? Because they celebrate a lot too. Yeah. Or is it dressed to the nines or is it dressed to the T's? I know there's a saying. <laughs> well, both of them. Yeah. So we're just hanging out. Uh, we've got a couple hours before dinner. And let's see what happens. Good chance for me to show you guys Serrano's actually. We're gonna have a little, I think we're gonna have a little appetizer before. So let me kind of go in with you. What I love about Serrano's, anyone in this cruise ship, listen, not trying to do my comparisons, but I did not notice a bar on the other ones. It probably was, I just didn't notice. But uh, Serrano's has the pizza. You saw in our day one embarkation vlog. We did come in and grab some pizza, but I wasn't able to really vlog it. Now, a lot of times this area has like different salads and stuff, but I'm noticing it's just strictly pizza right now. So let's go see what kind of pizza they have. So guys, they do have a veggie pizza upon request. Uh, we got pepperoni, we got cheese, and what's that one down there, Roberta? I love that uh, barbecue I love that cheese. Let's try a couple of slices. So Jake found us a nice little spot here. Did want to point out, guys, too. Got some jazz music playing here. <laughs> guys, this is so fun, man. I'm telling you, we just love cruising. So I think we're gonna head up and play mini golf. Also, what's really cool on um, tonight with the uh, formal night, you'll find a lot of really cool photo ops. Is actually one here. I'm gonna take your picture going up the steps here. So lots of opportunity. So if you have that um, package for the photos, and even if you don't, get a couple, and then you can check them out and decide if you want to purchase. So pretty cool. Here's some more here. See. So you'll find lots of photographers uh, if you're interested in some really nice pictures. All right, let's go try some mini golf. There are different hours for like splash away bay and those water slides i showed you they vary different days so you'd have to keep an eye on that but you can take advantage you know and really have a good time out here or just chill and not have to be in a huge crowd of people now, this is a beautiful time of the night for mini golf there goes jake you can see him over here he's ready to go so we just kind of play and have fun right we hit a few holes let's see how it goes all right, guys, let's try to mess around a little bit. Well, the Pellegrino in one hand and the uh, club in another. Oh, way off. I am off. Oh, I'm out. That's why I always wear, guys, whenever I play golf, I always wear two pairs of pants, just in case I get a hole in one. Let's see. 
Looks like we got an Oreo uh, milkshake and a chocolate milkshake. Again, all complimentary, which I just think is awesome. Let's see what Jake thinks of the chocolate. Including on a drink package. Yes, it's included. In, yes, a drink package, guys. Not the big, yes, reverse. Not included in your cruise fare. Drink package. Our drink package includes these. Very important. I almost misspoke there. What do you got, Jake? It's good, not overpowering. Oh, no. Good, and Roberta, how about the Oreo? That's good. Good? Hey, I mean, all right, I'll try a sip too. I figured I'd give you guys an update on the carousel. Still out of order, a little disappointing. Uh, we haven't gotten to ride it yet on our cruise, but I think, hopefully, I can't see it being broken for all four days. So once that gets in operation, we'll show you again how that works, and that is complimentary i think it's time to try the bionic bar let's give it a shot show you how it works here we go guys and what's cool is these are portable so when you see one hanging around you can just bring it to your table let's try to make a we're gonna make a mocktail a zero proof tail cocktail well, we got to put our date of birth please type your birth here yes guys all right Create a new drink. Jake, go ahead. Your glass is empty. Tap the add button. So we want uh, mixers, mixers we want. We want ginger ale. There's your ginger ale right up there, Jake. Yep. And how about three parts? Let's increase it. I mean, plus. Right there, another one. All right, that should be pretty good. Let's go to, we want to add something plus. We want, uh, I wonder if it would be, oh no, wait, it might be under mixers. We want grenadine right here. We want, let's do one part, Jake, give us a plus. And we want ice. Definitely want ice, that looks pretty good. We'll do this. And we already got it, right? So what do we want to do, stir or strain? We'll stir. You guys ready to make it? Yeah. All right, add to cart. It might be a little much on a grenadine, we'll find out. Matthew's drink, yeah. yep, done. This guy's again included in our drink package. Check out. And I think, let's see, starting order. You gotta look on the board, so I'll show you in a minute. There it is, Matthew's drink up here, guys. So then you go over to the board here. All right, I think Dazzle is the name of my robot. Dazzle, do me a nice one here now. Let's see. Yes, there it is, Matthew's drink. Now in production. So here it comes. And I guess that's where it said name of drink. You can customize the name of the drink. Yeah. Yeah. So here it goes. Here's a grenadine going in. See the grenadine there? I think I might have overloaded the grenadine, but let's see what happens. And that's ice. Yeah. And it's probably, let's see where that ginger ale comes from. Interesting. Let's see. More grenadine. I think I really hit that grenadine up real good. And... Oh, the ginger ale came. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Shaking. Let's see. Yeah, Jake's going to be there. There it goes. And here it comes, guys. Yeah. Yeah. 
And here it comes. Let's keep rolling, guys. Come on over, let's try it. Shirley Temple, I'm going great. <laughs> Yes, uh, this Shirley Temple's for all you guys out there. Please subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. Oh, I love that. Mm. Da Dazzle, you did good. Mm. A little extra grenadine never hurt nobody. Let's see what Jake thinks. Yeah. Look, I wanted it back. You see, that's why I don't. That's why I don't drink anymore. You see, I was like grabbing that. All right, guys. Oh, I had a lot of fun making the drink here. Uh, that was awesome. It's almost time for dinner time. Yeah. Yep. And Roberta, Bionic Bar, what do you think? It's cool, huh? Yeah. You know what? If anything, it's just fun. Yeah. It's pretty fun to hang out. And you can watch different drinks people are making. Yeah. Love the big board. Very cool. Before dinner. When you're running with Medlin World, you need your caffeine. When you're on cruises, we don't stop. So again, this is from the Promenade Cafe. It is Starbucks. It's the same exact coffee Starbucks uses. So, salut. It doesn't look like a long line for our reservation. This is the side you go with your reservations. Let's hope we get the same uh, table or same wait staff we had last night. We're about to find out. <laughs> Good news, guys. We did have to wait just about five minutes, but we are back at 3.15 with Dua and Ida. So excited about that. Uh, they were awesome last night. So yes, they did accommodate us. And we're taking a look at the menu now. And we'll show you what we get to begin with. So, I mean, we, had, we ordered, but yeah. shout out to both these guys again, man. But Ida, we hadn't seen her. I said, where's Ida? I haven't seen her. Oh, she's, she'll, be, she'll be in a few minutes. And look, she brought us all the things we like. She remembered from last night. Uh, all the beverages that we had last night. And, him too. and he's like, you talk about my allergies. Right? Yeah. And he remembered Roberta's allergy from memory. So, really cool. And I can't wait to show you. Let's hope this meal is as good as last night. If it is, boy. We're gonna be happy. I got the iceberg uh, salad. I, I, yes, I know what you're thinking. What? I, it is awesome. I've had it several times on Royal. This is really good. The calamari rings. Uh, Roberta got French onion soup. And Jake, he also joined me with the calamari, uh, the fried calamari rings. So we're gonna dig in. Let's try them. So Jake and I both actually very disappointed with our first really anything we've eaten but this is the calamari is a no-go man not cooked properly at all almost like just rubber i mean not good we both had tried one wasn't good but the iceberg um wedge salad is really good it comes with like tomatoes and bacon and the dressing is i want to say maybe like a house dressing the dressing is awesome and roberta you're saying that you're really liking it i really like it yeah it's just that i love cheese i love cheese for me more cheese better but it's hard to eat just with a spoon because you can't get the cheese apart but it's, it's very good. Okay. So, I taste it as well. Awesome. So we already reviewed our appetizers, all right? Everything was, again, though, besides the calamari, appetizers were good. But I got the scampi here, guys, with the shrimp. Got mussels there. Oh, yes. Looks good. Jake is going with the chicken cord on blue. And Roberta, what is it that you have here? So it's pea with uh, kind of minty cream and uh, asparagus risotto. Wow. Let's dig in and let everybody know how good it is. Guys, I haven't had a bite of this scampi yet, but I did want to show you. There's actually scallops in there as well. Just to let you know. So let's start with Jake. Jake, what did you think of your chicken cordon bleu? You did leave a little bit, but how was it overall? Decent. Decent, yeah. Did you like it? Do you like the, the cheese with the ham in there? I do. 
really like it, I would probably prefer just regular chicken. Good job yeah, trying it, though. Good, Good job, job trying it. <laughs> Mine was awesome, man. Another, another top-notch meal, guys. Excellent meals both night for me in the dining room. That scampi was out of this world. Roberta, what'd you think of yours? So, the food was good. Uh, I like mint. But if you're not a mint person, don't order that dish. The, the, the mint overpowers everything. The only thing you could taste is mint. Oh, yeah. You can't taste the asparagus, you couldn't taste the peas. Uh, the risotto was well cooked. I liked it. But again, I, I never thought that I would eat mint like that. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's what's, that's what's cruising about, trying new things. But the good thing is... The good thing is, look, the head waiter came over and just said, hey, you know, he, it was kind of cool because he was asking about what Roberta ate. Yeah. Hey, and she, she, she told him the same thing, like, oh, I really liked it. But if, yeah. if somebody ordered it and didn't really like mint, they'd have a hard time, right? Yeah. And he said, oh, I'm going to bring you something special for you. So, uh, some tenderloin beef. And look at, because she loved the risotto so much. And he brought some asparagus so she could actually taste the asparagus a little bit better. So, Roberta got two meals, but I'm going to try some. My gosh. Guys. The uh, tenderloin. Oh, amazing. I don't, you know, I feel like I'm eating in a specialty restaurant so far, Roberta, in, in the main dining room. Everything we've had has been excellent except for that one appetizer, so I'm not going to hold that against them. I mean, I've eaten so many different things. How can I say because one thing wasn't good? No, everything has been really good, and I know I said I don't want to compare and things like that and be non-biased. But speaking of Royal Caribbean, I'm going to say so far on the Oasis of the Sea, the food has been the best out of all the different ships yes. I've been on. And Jake just said yes as well. So. You have to wait for our comparison. Yeah, yeah, I know, but a little, a little teaser. And it's only been two nights. We still have a couple nights to go. I, but that's why I'm saying so far, man, I, I just think it's been really, really good. So let's get dessert and let's see if it continues. Look at Jake. Oh, presenting it. Oh, how's your raspberry? Chocolate chip cookies for Jake. The cappuccino, no sugar added chocolate cake. And Roberta, of course, with the classic cream brulee. Well, let's see how they go. Ah, dessert was good too. Everything was great again. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I, I, I know I just keep repeating myself, but a big part of cruising is the food, man. It's. These are the things that make you want to come back on certain ships. And Roberta, yeah. <laughs> out of five cruises, we've we've yeah. done yeah. Royal several times. So yes, yeah. we do like Royal Caribbean, as well as other ships too. I mean, but let's go see about heading to the Aqua Show. Yeah, we are having an issue because the app is not loading the activities. Yeah. So we can't see our reservations. That's the only problem we're having is because with the show, we do have reservations. Yeah. And uh, if you have reservations, you can go in early, you're guaranteed a spot. And it's not because of the internet. I did purchase the internet and the internet's working for everything else. Of course, I checked the, you know, Boston Celtics, Philadelphia 76ers game just now. But for some reason, the Royal app's having a hard time, so. We don't, we can't show them that we have the reservation, but let's go see what happens. I just want to point out the pool here. Remember, these shows are subject to conditions. We may end up maybe having to try to catch this show another night because it is rocking and rolling. I, I wonder if you can see on the camera that pool. Let's see what happens. No one for us to actually have the show beneath the water in the pool and not out of the pool. Uh, very important. Um, uh, so it's a bit rough outside right now and I just came from backstage and we've been talking with the bridge and the bridge right now, oh, bring the center lift up, bring that center lift up there Jess, bring the center lift up, thank you. So the bridge is going to do their best to see if they can find a course that will help to keep water in the pool because if there's no water in the pool there's no dive show. So just give us a few minutes if you would please. See if we can, uh, the bridge can help us out to find a better uh, course.
course, Eddie, that can, uh, they've been trying actually for quite some time now, and they've asked me to give them a few more minutes to see if they can find the uh, a heading that can keep the ship a little bit more stable to keep the water in the pool. All right, so we just got a word from the bridge that uh, they've done everything they can. And uh, so we're gonna uh, bring the lift down and see uh, what we have in terms of the pool. We've actually lost quite a bit of water um, right now. So let's see what we have here. There we go. There it is. So basically this is not looking good right now. Um, I actually made a recommendation to use Jello, but nobody listens to me. I think if we use Jello, nothing comes out of the pool. That's all I say. But, uh, but uh, in, in, in the good news is that, like I said, you will get to see the show. We're gonna move it to tomorrow, same time, 10:15. Your um, reservation will move automatically, so no need to see anyone, ask any questions. You go to your Royal app. Within the hour, you'll be able to see the change. So and guys, the show, but, safety uh, comes it's first. It's dangerous right now to give you hear Rick. Thank you for your understanding. Before you yeah. go, I want to prove to you that the cast is ready. They oh, are ready. I see. This is not uh, me just coming out and letting you know that this is happening. The cast is ready. So here they are. Would, if you would please, welcome to the deck. The cast of Aqua 80. All ready. Let's hear it for them. Here they are. Your divers, synchronized servers, dancers, your athletes. Come so on now, good. look at their faces. Hang They're on, not happy that they can't do the show. Uh, not finish happy. up, and we'll talk about it in a minute. Well, so guys, you heard Rick, the cruise director, could not perform the show tonight. But listen, man, you, you, people need to be safe, for Bertie. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we got no problem with that. Yeah. And I think the cool thing is that we'll, we'll try again tomorrow. Try again. Same time, our reservation will work. So yeah. what's that mean? You gotta come back for the next vlog. Yeah. I can't wait to watch that show. Let's hope for the best for tomorrow. Yeah. That we have better conditions, guys. I want to thank everybody for watching Mending World. We appreciate everybody who has subscribed. If you have not subscribed, please take a moment to subscribe to Mending World. Thank you to our Patreons. And last but not least, we'll be in Cosmo Mel tomorrow. Yeah. See ya.